Hello again, viewers. Good news. I made it to one of the favourite places that I visited last year. With no time to go in for a Thai massage, too many videos to do for you. We lift in the background there, take you right up to the top. What a beautiful day in Albafura Old Town. Beach is lovely here, isn't it? Maybe about 27, 28 degrees. Walk with me to the end, we'll walk down to the square. We'll see how busy it is. Not really the officially the start of the season, I think the start of the season is really kind of May. So it'll be interesting to see how busy the square is. Might not be that busy. We'll wait and see viewers. Nice, eh? We beach restaurant there as well at the tunnel. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go through the tunnel. So viewers, just arrived. If check out all my videos in Lisbon. Many more videos to come from Lisbon, but back in one of my favourite places, Albafura Old Town. Um, issues already with the hotel quite funny really because it doesn't really affect me but the pool shut and there's building work on they never told me that when I booked it I could have got a hotel much cheaper without a pool and I decided to stay in the same one that I stayed in last year you'll see that in another video anyway viewers first world problem out we've still got the beautiful beach and the hotel have offered two other sister hotels that if I wanted to go and have a swim in I could One's miles away, mind you. One's just at the top of the steps here. How nice is it here, eh? How's the weather back home? I fear it's not not brilliant. Depends where you are in the UK, I suppose. But if you're coming out here soon to Albafura, I was here last year in June. It was absolutely scorching. It's very, very nice today. And there is a cocktail bar of yours. So if you've not seen my previous Albafura videos, then I hope you'll enjoy the videos I've got from Albafura. The plan is... I'm going to be here till Sunday. My flight is booked at Sunday at half past nine. We're back from Faro. Is it Faro or Faro? So I'm definitely going to be two days in Albafura. I've booked in to the Villa Recife Hotel. Um, quite, I know quite a lot of viewers have uh, stayed in that hotel. It's a two star, it's very, very basic. I've got it for £46 a night with hotels.com. That'll work out just over £40 a night by the time they give me a, a wee voucher back. Be cocktail bars nice here, isn't it? So, a wee tip if you want to come to Albufeira. The prices just off season, off the peak season, are so much lower than high season. So we turn over, go through here, we're going to the old town. This hotel I'm in just now, I looked at it last year during the summer, July and August. It was over a hundred pound a night. And when you see the room review in the video I'll do, there is no way it's worth that. But it's supply and demand. There's not that many big massive hotels in the old town, they're all kind of smaller hotels, so they book up really quick. At night it's nice here, they usually get somebody in the violin, people singing and stuff, it's pretty nice. Very nice here actually in the old town. So, for what I paid, I can't really complain, I'm not going to use the pool anyway. I maybe would have actually just lied down at the pool for an hour, not even used it maybe. You'll see my balcony, there's not much chance of lying down the balcony, it's not the best. But we'll see if there's nothing to worry about. Now there's good news here. If you've been watching the previous videos, you remember that I forgot all my socks. I did get some in Tenerife, but I've ran out. I need more. This shop sells everything in the world here, on the right-hand side. <laughs> my hotel is just up there, round the corner, turn right, up the top of the hill. Um, it's a wee bit hilly, the old town. There is hotels down the flat bit, but if you're staying up this bit, it is hilly. Taxis are pretty cheap. I got a taxi from Albafura bus station, and um, that's when I get my socks. Albafura bus station, it was four euros 75. It's two and a half kilometers away. I was going to walk it, and I had the big rucksack. I thought, no, I'll just jump the taxi. How you doing? All right? We're we'll coming here because of you. Oh, thanks very much, I appreciate it. You were down there, don't go to Oscar after seven. Oh, that's right, <laughs> you've definitely watched the videos. Oh, this, yeah. this is the first video I'm doing in Albafura. You, you guys come back? Yeah, you guys have just appeared in it. Oh, lovely. lovely to meet you. What's your name? Graham. Graham? And Tina. Hey, Tina. Hi, Graham and Tina, where are you from? From Yorkshire. Yorkshire. South Yorkshire. So, you're, is this the first time here or were you here yeah. last year? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? It is. It's nice. Oh, you're staying in Villamura, you just came in for the yeah, day? we bought this a long time ago, but we've come here because of you. Oh, thanks so much. I appreciate you watching the channel and hopefully the recommendation was okay. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely yeah. superb. I'll maybe see you about here in the next two days. Yeah, we'll watch all your videos. Oh, thanks so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Yeah, Lovely to meet you. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Bye.
<laughs> what would that be yours? What would that be yours? I did not expect that. Um, a wee surprise. Lovely to meet you guys. Literally within three minutes I do my first video and I'll be it. I met a viewer. It's busy here. Amazing. Made my day that one. There's that Kim again. Ale hop. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So we've got plenty of bars and restaurants down here. We'll do another walk down here I think. I'm not quite sure what's going on down there. You can hear building up but there's still a lot of hotels getting ready for the season. There's quite a lot of youth hostels down there that are actually really nice youth, youth hostels. I've been in a couple of them um, and I actually could have got a room for £13 a night. I was really tempted viewers. I was tempted at that price but I up to budget a wee bit and uh, I stayed in the Villa Recife. I think the last time I was here I said I probably wouldn't stay in the Villa Recife again. It was a bit noisy but I'm in the ground floor down near the basement. This might be quieter so I'll let you know viewers tomorrow how the first night goes. Nice area. It's even nicer at night. So if you're thinking of coming to the Algarve, I've not been everywhere in the Algarve. You've the seen I've done videos in Priya de Rocha, Portimao, been to Faro, been to Albafura. Albafura by miles for me is my favourite resort um, in the Algarve. Lisbon's a city break, it's completely different than here. If you're coming here on a relaxing holiday, um, I think you'll enjoy it. They've got some really, really good live entertainment down at the square at night. It can get quite lively. We bakery here as well. It'll be interesting to see when I go around, see if any, anything's changed since the last time I was here. We'll have a wee look, we'll see how busy the square is. This is getting filmed nearly at five o'clock. So probably in between kind of lunch and dinner, it might not be that busy. Not everywhere might be open yet for the season. I will find it out tonight, viewers, obviously. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to stay here for two days. Saturday, I think the only option I've got Saturday is going to Villa Moura, where they guys are staying. Um, or I could go late to Faro. I like this, this bar, the Rock Cafe bar. Really nice. The music's just started, Music Square. That's good if you're on holiday, not so good if you're doing YouTube videos. So I've been there at one point, probably pop in for a pint. Last time I was in, there was a band on, Scottish singer. If you watch the videos, give me a wee comment, mate. We'll meet up. Uh, we can chat about Arbafura. The Black Bull, that looks like a new place, don't know. We'll see. So, quite a good family atmosphere down at the square. We've got all the, the bars open here, looks like. The Portugal shop. More bars and restaurants up the left-hand side there and shops. Portugal shop here as well. We've got the Sir Harry's bar. It's a nice, nice atmosphere in Arbafura. Really like it. So we've got Sir Harry's, we've got Vertigo as well. Now when you're having your meal um, in Vertigo, quite often there'll be live music on. Albafura, we'll do another video showing you some of the prices. It's a lot more expensive than Tenerife, to be honest with you. It's not really, really expensive, but it's not cheap. There's no Euro beers or anything like that. Um, hamburger, you can see your chips, 11.50, that's not bad. And quite often you have live music, somebody entertaining you, so I don't think you can complain. This is a really good bar for sports. Central Station. Last, last time I was in here, I think I watched a Wales game, I think it was on. Met so many Welsh viewers. So, first impressions are, this will be quite busy tonight. Yay! Hello, <laughs> you guys are happy. <laughs> uh, first impressions, it's going to be busy enough tonight. This is where the live music and entertainment is. This place called Bank Street. I'll come down here later on and see what it's like. I might not be able to film it with the music. We'll just have to wait and see how that goes with us. Um, the Bravo one. Be very busy right? Hello. Indian Grill. They've got a rooftop bar. I had an Indian in there. Chicken curry. Funny enough. Now, I think this is where Buddies used to be. It's now called Pampas. Maybe I've got mixed up. MD from Albufura can let me know. Not quite sure. So around the corner we've got further bars and restaurants. They'll get busy I think tonight. Um, it's quite early days. It's very compact. I prefer it old town. That's why I'm not sure I'll be able to do enough videos here. Um, maybe two days will be more than enough and I'll head somewhere else. I was considering Lagos but that takes me back away from the airport and the problem I've got is uh, the flight is at half past seven on Sunday morning. So I can't be an hour and a half away from the airport. 
rooftop terrace here. Love up there as well. There's a couple of really nice pubs up there as well. We'll be covering all this here. I'll take you all round up if you're at Old Town in the next couple of days. We'll see, you might get somebody else, but I doubt it. I will head up to the strip at one point, um, up at Sao Jao, and I'll take a wee video for you there. Let's see if we can get a bit of shade here, viewers. A wee bit of shade. If you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour. Hold on a minute, viewers. Very, very hot here. Try to get some shade to speak to you. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the videos in Portugal, um, the good news is today it's free. Hit the subscribe button, does not cost a penny. Over 43,000 people have clicked the wee button and I, I really want to thank you all for your support. Thank you so much. Um, if you're enjoying the video, if you're on Facebook, share it in a couple of Facebook groups. If you're in Portugal groups, Alba Fura, I know has got quite a lot of active Facebook groups as well. I'd really, really appreciate that. I'm showing you what it's like right at the start of the season. Um, I'll be here the next two days. If you have any recommendations for where I can walk, any hidden gems, any things that have changed, just let me know. But the good news is, I've made it. The bus was two hours, 45 minutes. It was a very comfortable bus, brand new bus, with a TV and a coffee maker on it. Bears. How good was that? It cost maybe 11 euros, can't complain. And uh, we're in beautiful Albufeira, Old Town. One of my favourite places I went to last year. I'm sure I'll enjoy it again this year. Lovely to meet the guys at the start of the walk. Absolutely brilliant. Enjoy the rest of your holiday, guys. You made my day. First video in. We met some viewers. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one, probably from Albufeira, Old Town tonight. Bye-bye, viewers.